Hello, sweet friends. This is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery Channel. Today is episode three of Finding Your Style 2. We are going to work on lesson number three, taking stock. So let's recap where he, we have been. In the first lesson, or first episode, we did ditch the journal, and you guys found yourself a huge pile of junk papers. So here is my pile of junk papers. Remember, we're gonna use junk papers because this is gonna be things that we don't care what happens to. So they can be papers that um, are destined for the trash because that's gonna help us to get over our fear of perfection. In lesson number two, we talked about why. And we talked about why you do what you do by making a some sort of a graphic organizer. So I made a timeline and it was a really long video. Um, and in my timeline, I went through and talked about my journey, my creative journey from when I started to now. And I started as a kid, but you can start yours wherever you want. And then I went through and I picked out why I did what I did at different points of my journey. And I color coded mine, so like my whys were in pink, how it made me feel was in green, um, and yeah, it's a hot mess, but I actually like this. And so to me, this shows a lot of learning going on because it's just so messy and there's stuff on top of each other. And yeah, the, to me, this is good stuff. Um, but yours may look totally different and that is okay. But what I wanted you to come away with were some key words that you could have for your why and, and why, why you do your why, why, why you want to create, why you want to connect, why you want to document. And so then that's where that feeling part came in. So now what we're going to do is lesson number three, we're going to take stock. So um, this is going to be another lesson where you have some sort of homework assignment. I have a piece of paper here that um, I was going to pull it when I did my junk papers, but it had stuff on paint and stuff on one side, and so I decided not to use it as my uh, junk paper pile, but I am going to use it for this graphic organizer. So for this graphic organizer, this is what I call an always sometimes never. And so this is a way to kind of do exactly what we're doing, which is take stock or um, kind of itemize what we have and what we still need or what we still want. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to kind of create um, like a grid or a table. And so I'm just going to draw um, some lines. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here, and then I'm going to put one going across the top. So I'm going to label this always. This will be sometimes, and this will be never. And then I'm going to put a little asterisk here, but want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and look at some of my, my art, some of my creations, some of my, um, it can be needlework, it can be writing, it can be your doodles, it can be your scrapbooks, whatever, whatever your craft is. Go through and I want you to look at some samples. So I went and pulled some samples. I pulled old samples, I pulled new samples. Um, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to look to see what materials or techniques that I always use, sometimes use, never use, and then never, but maybe I want to use them. Like maybe I want to use them more. So let me pull out a piece of work and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is an old journal from, oh gosh. 2000, I hate it when I don't put the years on things. Um, this is an old journal from, there we go, 2014. Okay, so this was a journal that um, I hand bound and these are old book covers and yeah. 
So I'm going to flip through this. I just grabbed um, a random journal out of my, my cabinet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip to a few pages. And I'm going to look for either techniques or materials, themes that I see that I either do use or I don't use. So this first one, um, I'm going to open up to this. Automatically, I see that I use wrapping paper. So I'm going to write that down or pretty much always use some sort of wrapping paper. Um, I also see that there are book pages here. So book text, book pages, um, photos. I always, almost always, there's just a few when I don't use photos. And then for my photos, I always have photos and it's always my family. I am not a person that uses photos of people I don't know. So I would put that over here. So I never use photos of peeps IDK. Now, I'm going to stop right here. So a little time out. Just because I put something over here in the never column doesn't mean it's wrong or it's bad. It's just that for my personal style, I don't do that. Now, you may have other things in your never pile, and that's okay, and they may be things that I have in my always pile. That is fine. Remember, we are trying to find your style, not someone else's style. We're not trying to see if we can duplicate other people's styles. We're trying to find what works for you. So, if, using photos of people you don't know, maybe using magazines, which I don't use very often. I know I did when I first started, but I just, I almost never use them now. That's okay if you use them, that is your style. So if you put it over in this column or this column, it is perfectly fine. Remember, this is Gina Johnson's style and you are going to make one of these for your style. So I always use photos and it's always of my family. I try to always have some sort of fabric or some sort of um, thread. So I'm gonna put fabric on here. And with that, I always sew on my things. Either it's hand sewing, hand stitching, or machine stitching. So you can see there's some machine, machine stitching right there. Um, sometimes I stamp. You can see some stamps there. These were just little random objects that I um, were was playing in paint, and these are just some doodles. So I always doodle. I love to doodle. Um, I used to hate it, but now I get a little bit better. Um, I always, I always write random phrases. So. I'm always writing random phrase, phrases, but I never, and I just, I just cannot do this. I never have long journaling passages. It's just not, it's just not my thing. There are some people that do, and they can write pages and pages and pages. I'm just, that's not a person. That's not, I don't know. That's not my style. Um, this was a bunch of layers. So you can see there's tons of different layers and there's some paint on here. So sometimes I paint. Um, I do both watercolor and I also do um, acrylic too. I love acrylic. And then I always have lots of layers. Whoops, layers. Okay, let's flip to another one. Uh, let me find something that's got some, some on here. Okay, let's see. For this one, again, paint, again, wrapping paper. Um, oh, so this is a price tag, and this is a label from some item that I purchased. So I would say I always use everyday things. So price tags and labels and stickers, um, like my produce stickers and stuff like that. 
Um, again, with the doodling, there's some paint. I always like to throw in some pink paint. So I'm gonna put pink on here because that's one of my go-to colors. And I also have to put turquoise because that's another one of my go-to colors. You wanna know what colors I never use? White and black. I wish I could. I'm just not one of those people. Like my, my spreads always are full color and they're always bright. Some people do different color palettes and they're just really muted and earth tones and stuff and that is beautiful. I'm just, ugh, I just can't do it. I'm just always drawn to this pink and turquoise and orange. Wrapping paper in there. I see a piece of scrapbook paper, which is interesting because I don't typically use scrapbook paper, but I'll put that in here. Um, scrapbook paper and notice I'm gonna put it between the sometimes and the nether because sometimes I do, um, most of the time I don't. This is like something that has to do with sewing. This is some other person's writing. So I always love using, how am I gonna word this? Um, let's see, I wanna use something that has to do with sewing. So I use fabric, I use sewing material or sewing book pages there we go and then I'm gonna put the word sew up here because I always like to sew okay so then over here I like having other people's handwriting oh yeah 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 so if I can I like to have other people's handwriting so I may not use pictures of people I don't know but I will use whatever they write also, I always use my own handwriting. And not because I love my handwriting, um, because I am totally lazy. And I don't, I don't ever look for the perfect, um, I just don't ever, I could stamp it, I could use alphabet stickers, but to me that's too perfect. So I'm gonna put another one. Um, I never do perfect. Which, again, that's okay for me. Now, some of you guys are going to put perfect over here, and that is okay. So, I never do perfect, which means I always do messy. Okay? So, if I always do messy, my things are always overlapped. And my colors contrast which means my cover, my colors never really match. Again, totally okay. And my stuff is not really lined up. All right, let's go to another source. An altered book that I think I got for 35 cents. And again, there's photos of my family, wrapping paper, doodles, paint. It's the same, same story. I love to use old photos of my kiddos and I love to use random stickers. So we're gonna do random stickers. And I love to use old photos. So nothing like going back and grabbing old photos from my kiddos. Um, me, oh, okay, so here's something. I used to never do um, any sort of art about me but now it's always about me. So I'm gonna put me, about me, but I'm gonna draw an arrow here. It used to never be about me, used to never be about me. And that's okay. I was I in in my scrapbooking days and when I first started art journaling, it was okay because I was doing it about everything that was going on in my life and I was so busy with my kids and everything. But now that my kids have kind of grown up, it's shifted and I'm actually I do more I do most of my stuff about me, me and and my husband and our our daily adventures. Um, let's see wrapping paper again pictures um oh okay okay look at this this is a pic this is a spread about an internship my daughter was doing so here's the thing i always um, journal about 
the everyday things. And I never, I, you know what the hardest things for me to journal about are? Holidays. Holidays and events. For example, my daughter got married three years ago. I still have not done one single thing about her wedding. No, I haven't even printed off her wedding pictures. I just, I'm stuck. I, I feel like I'm stuck and I, I have trouble telling that story. So I have trouble with holidays and events, but boy, I can <laughs> journal the heck out of her internship, <laughs> which is just bizarre. Oh, uh, well, okay, I love space. So I'm always doing space and anything that has to do with science. Um, let's see what else. I love stick people. Um, doo -doo -doo. here, like here's a birthday and this was, I liked this one because it was just so random and it wasn't even my kid's birthday. Um, it was a birthday party they went to, but yeah. Oh, okay. So I like using, I like using glitter sometimes. I love using like random tapes. Washi tape, I'm, I'm okay with. I, I like washi tape, but I'm not married to it. Like I don't have to have it all the time. So I'm going to put, um, I sometimes use washi tape but I always use um, like, I'm gonna call it utility tape because it's either packing tape or masking tape, um, some of that strand tape. Oh, here we go. Look, two, these two right here. I'm always journaling about my grandparents. Not so much my parents, but my grandparents. I feel like I'm always journaling about my grandparents. All right, this is crazy. So this was, um, my daughter, was, she was singing this song from this show on PBS called Sagwa. And if you've ever watched it, the theme song is, it sticks in your head and it will not get out. So she just kept singing it. Um, so that's another thing. I always journal song lyrics. Um, and I always journal poems. You've seen my poem, poetry journal and stuff. Here's what I don't do very often. Quotes. I'm not a quote person. There's a lot of people that are quote people. And so you would put quotes over here. It's just not my thing. So I just don't, I don't know, quotes. I think I get overwhelmed because there's too many quotes, too many good ones. Um, so yeah. Okay, so let's pull something else out. So this is my attempt at Project Life. So this was 2011 to 2012. So first thing right off the bat, I refused to go out and buy the materials because I felt like I had enough materials that I could do this on my own. So I did, I went through all of my stuff and I used whatever I had. So whatever page protectors and stuff I had, those were the ones that I used and these actually were gosh ones I had from some of them are baseball card holders some of them are ones that um, these are coin holders these were from an old photo album that my gosh my one of my first photo albums of my kiddos and I think I moved my photos from there and put them in something else um, so yeah I don't yeah, I made my own <laughs> project life. And it was, I, I liked it. I had fun with this, but it was just too, um, too strict for me. I needed a lot of, I needed a lot more space. But it was fine for um, the time period because I still had kiddos at home and kiddos in school. And so this was a, a great way to keep track of, everything that was going on during during that time so from here here's what i want to say so let me pull this back out so i never i'm going to put this down here follow the leader <laughs> i guess that's what i'm going to say i never follow the leader um i always i always like make my own 
So before I go out and buy something, I'm always going to try to see if I can make it myself. So I never follow the leader, which, but if you do, that's okay. You put it over here. Um, I, gosh, let me see. What else can I say about this? Um, oh, you know what? Sometimes I journal, oops, about school so my job most of the time I don't most of the time I leave that separate but sometimes I journal about it um, like I said most of the time it's my kids Ooh, I always have selfies and dog pics okay um, sometimes I follow a pattern for example this was a pattern okay it was hard for me to do but it was a pattern being sure making sure to put stuff in here um, in the week or however I can even remember how I did it but somehow I made this my own and I, I was able to keep up on it um, so sometimes I can follow a pattern not very often and all of this stuff that's in here is like old scrapbook paper. Like I didn't go buy any of the cards or anything. I just used um, scrapbook paper and I cut it down and things like that. And I probably have, I don't know, four or five of these. I kept up with it for quite a while. And then, like I said, then I was just kind of over it because it was just too, too structured. So, oop, let me do this. Um, I never like structure even though I tried to follow a pattern I didn't really like the structure okay now let's look at this this is this is an old oh my gosh an old scrapbook this is 2007 so let's look for things in here and this is going to be different because this was in my scrapbooking days so again I have pictures um I have, like I didn't use things the way they were intended. I do have some stickers, some scrapbook stickers there. And scrapbook paper, there's a little bit of paint. Hope you guys can see this. I'll move it over a little bit. There's some sewing. Again, my journaling just not very, not very like long and drawn out. It was mostly just here are the facts. Oh, this was this was a time where I was trying to duplicate something that somebody else was doing, and it was so hard. Um, I think I saw this in a scrapbooking magazine, and I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. And while I think it's cute and I like it, I, um, I know when I look at it, and you probably can't tell this, but when I look at it, I'm like, okay, this is cute, and I like it, but that's not me. So <clears throat> I never... Um, try to duplicate other, uh, what do I want to call it? Designs, I guess. And I ne I'm not going to say I never do it. I'm going to put sometimes because I did it and it just wasn't me. And so I'm going to write just wasn't me. All right. Let's see what else we have in here. Again, with the, the color, photos of my kiddos, and then weird random things. Like, who in the world um, <laughs> can make a, a, a page, a scrapbook page, about me's? I, I, this was when my kids were big into we, and oh my gosh, they're me's. They had the most fun making um, me's, and I loved, I loved their me's. Um, I could journal about or scrapbook about my kiddo drawing and, and making things, and I loved that. But, boy, you have me do something about a birthday, and, yeah, couldn't do it. Okay, so this, here, look at this thread. I love that messy, and I remember when I did this, I felt, um, again, I felt like I was cheating on scrapbooking. Because isn't this kind of art journal -y? and junk journaling and it's not as much 
scrapbook. Like to me, this is scrapbook over here. This is more art journal. And I remember I loved doing this, but then I was also like, ooh, that's, um, wow, I crossed the line. I, I went over into art journaling or junk journaling. Um, there's fabric and sewing. So yeah, and then just finding a weird photo and then just writing things about it. This was when my kiddo had um, his, <laughs> his webkins were expired and he didn't realize it and he was so sad because he thought that meant his webkins were gonna die. Anyway, his older brother and sister made fun of him and it was, it was just a funny story and I wanted to put that story in. But then when they go fishing, I, I struggle. I had struggled doing a layout about this event because to me this was a hard story to tell but this was easy so i really just love the every day i love that he and i camped outside one day one night and he got these mosquito bites on his head and it just looked like a little constellation um and him blowing bubbles like that was that was the best i love doing stuff like that him trying to learn how to write cursive so i love journaling their notes and and things um i love it when he does silly things and i would journal that look here's how i was using book pages and i was using um like the packaging from some toys that he got i put some golden book stuff in here so yeah and then this again this is real scrapbooky and so this was harder for me to do um I don't know I don't know why but I like things where I can just get messy and creative and use supplies in their unintended way so let me write that use supplies as they are not intended okay all right so there's a trip down memory lane now let's go to something more recent. So this is my planner that um, I'm working in right now, my junk planner. And so we'll just kind of flip through and see if I see anything else that um, I either do or I don't do. Okay, so one thing. I always have this, um, I'm gonna switch markers so I can start to see more. I always have this thing about time. Time is, time is a huge issue with me. I don't know why, but time is just like this, it's this thing with me. It's a love-hate relationship. And so I feel like time is always something that I'm, I'm journaling about, either about time lost, like time a long time ago, memories or plans, but time is a huge um, theme for me. I already talked about song lyrics yeah 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 and um we talked about stickers oh notes from friends so sometimes i'll put in notes from friends and i really love using any time i get a note from my kiddo any of my kiddos okay um, I love stickers. Um, it, okay, I'll look at this page and I'll be like, ah, this is not finished. So I really like over, over full. I like pages to be over full. I don't even know if that's a word. And so over here, I never am sparse. Like my pages are always overloaded. I look at this and I'm like, oh, there's so much more I could do here. Um, like to me, this is good. <laughs> right here, this this is really, really good. I love, I love that. This one, I've got some stickers I need to stick down. Um, notes and stuff. Oh, let's see. What am I missing? Anything else? Anything else that I'm missing? I don't think so. I think I think I've pretty much hit the nail on the head with I like paint pens. I'm gonna put that on there. I always like to use paint pens. Oh, I know what I like to use. Gel pens. I am a gel pen freak. And I, I will 
be honest, I am not a fancy um, pen person. So there's a lot of wonderful journalers out there that use wonderfully awesome <sighs> pens. They're fancy. They have cool little tips or nibs and they use fancy ink and that is beautiful. But I can roll with this right here. Um, these, these are my favorites actually. So I like, um, let's see, I like Bic pens. <laughs> And I like crayons. Um, oh, one time I tried oil paint. No, thank you. Will not do oil paint again. I, oh, and I'm not a big, um, oh, what's that? Is it spray ink? I'll use the spray ink, but not the way that a lot of people are, where they spray it. Like I like to, I like to pour the ink or paint with the ink. So we'll put, I'll put, I never spray the ink, but I will paint with ink. Okay. Um, I really think, I think that's it. I, I think, I think I'm good. So, all right. So here's, here's what I just did. This is my always, this is my sometimes, this is my never. And I know, um, it's crazy, it's all over the place. Before I started this video, I actually made one, and I think I have actually pretty much the same thing. A um, Couple of things I'm gonna add on here. I never do the literal meaning, so I'm always pretty abstract. Um, oh, I sometimes collage. Um, I always take photos and I'm pretty good at printing my photos. Okay, so now what I could do is I could go through and I could look at my nevers. Is there any of these that I want to work on? If I do, I would just go through and I would put a little asterisk by it. These are the things that I want, I don't do very often, but I would like to try doing them. But this basically over here, this is me, this is my style. And so it's gonna be a working document. This is not gonna be something that I just keep and it stays like this. It's gonna constantly change, kind of like the part about me right here. That's constantly changing. It was over here in the never, and now it's over here in the always. The scrapbook supplies, I would say um, 10 years ago, that was always over here, but now it's over in the never. So these are gonna constantly go back and forth. Your style can go back and forth. Um, you wax and wane as you are an artist and you develop new styles and new techniques techniques and new methods and new passions. And so this is going to be something that I'm going to keep and I'm going to constantly look at and add stuff to and maybe circle things and move them over here. It just depends on on how how I feel, how, where I'm at in my creative period at that time. But right now, I would say that this sums up my style okay these are my go-to's right here and again just a reminder just because i have something over here and you don't doesn't mean it's right or wrong and just because i put something over here and you didn't doesn't mean it's right or wrong we are different we have different ideas about art and so therefore we have different styles we have different always sometimes and nevers I also like this exercise because this is what you're actually doing. Notice we did not look at anybody else's art. Like we didn't go to magazines or we didn't go to books where we were looking at other artists' art. We are looking at your art. So in Finding Your Style 1, we kind of went into books and, and um, looked at other journalers or other artists' creations. And we were like, yeah, I like that, I like that, I like that. This is a little bit different because this is gonna be all about you. So we're not gonna look at anybody else's, we're just gonna look at what you have and what you like in your journals, your scrapbooking, your art, your knitting, your crocheting, your letter writing, your mail art, whatever it is that you do. Okay, my friends, your homework assignment. 
is to make an always, sometimes, never chart. I want you to look at some of your past work and maybe if you're having trouble finding what sticks out to you, have someone else, have a friend or a family member look at some of your pieces and then have them tell you what sticks out or stands out. Sometimes they'll be able to see things more objectively um, than you can. And then put it down, put it down somewhere on this chart. It doesn't have to stay in that place and there's no right or wrongs, there's nothing bad that will happen to you. You're just taking stock of what it is that you have in your toolbox and what it is that you are constantly using and what you don't use very often and some things that maybe you want to start to incorporate. All right, my friends, I hope you got some inspiration. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are happy. And I hope you find something creative to do today. Bye.